Top performers from week two of the Valley High School football playoffs. We told you about Adrian Alvarez, over 200 yards and three touchdowns. Jacob Lasoya went over 1,000 yards with his 147. Jose Costello almost brought Rio Grande City all the way back, 146. Brandon Garza and Sean Matamayor, the two Harlingen quarterbacks, looked really good, both in losses, as was the loss for Javi Cruz of Los Fresnos. A little bit more on that. Grant Preciado and C.J. Gallegos were the top pass catchers for the Hawks and Cardinals, respectively, as was Sean Landez, 80 yards, two touchdowns, definitely the player of the week. But we mentioned Los Fresnos. Uh, Todd, the fact that they were able to stay so close and hold Laredo United yeah. to only 10 <laughs> points, that was a bit of a surprise. I, I mean, yeah, I saw United a couple weeks ago against Donna, and they looked uh, absolutely unstoppable, just unbelievable. And the fact that Los Fresnos was right there with them, a very impressive, good season for Los Fresnos. Yeah, great season for them. Uh, the big win last week over Wesico and then staying so close to Laredo United. United. But what about Rio Grande City, Joe, and, and what they were able to do com coming back from 23 points down against Harlandale? Coach Longoria still thinks if they got that ball back with that last play instead of losing it on downs, they might have won this thing. Yeah, I think what you saw there was a team peaking at the right time. They, they kind of snuck up into the playoffs and suddenly became contenders. And then same thing in this game. They fell behind, but like the season, as the game progressed on, they got better and better and had a chance to win the football game. Who's your biggest surprise? from this weekend. Los Fresnos uh, coming up close or, or Rio, Todd? Uh, I, for maybe it was Rio. Uh, you know, I didn't, it's a San Antonio team. They were down, what was it, 28 nothing or 21 nothing? And, you know, I, I was at the Harlingen and Sherilyn game and not really following. And then all of a sudden I look and they're down by like three points. Or, it's like, really? What the heck happened? So good for Rio to really battle back. They almost won the game. That's a good season for them, too. What about you, Joe? Yeah, I was, I was surprised by the Los Fresnos uh, containment. But you look at Los Fresnos, they, they played even with most everyone they played. They, they played to their level. Uh, and same thing there. But uh, again, and I, I like that comeback, and uh, I was really rooting for Rio Grande City there. All right. That's Joe Bowling, Action Force Sports reporter, Todd Oradanker of the Monitor. Thanks for joining us this week. That is it for this week's edition of Sunday Sports Extra. Yes, we will be here next week to recap week three of the Valley High School football playoffs. For now, stay tuned for the NFL Today on CBS, followed by the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Houston Texans. Yeah, stop giggling, guys. It's a, it's a real NFL game. <laughs> we'll see you next week.